Hello learners, welcome to Learn to Empower. This is the second video of our previous video, where in the previous video we have looked into the content and the structure of the attitude. In this particular video, we will be looking into the functions of the attitude. In the content and structure of the attitude, we have studied the attitude in terms of C plus A is equal to B. What is C? C is the cognitive part, affective part and B is the behavioral part. Cognitive part through the observations etc. that you get through predisposition that you have. Effect, affective part is the emotional component of the attitude. Next the behavioral part, the emotional component when kicks in, it will kicks in the behavioral part of the attitude. This behavior over the period of it turns out to be habit of the attitude. The, over the period the change that is happening, it will become a, a behavioral component of the attitude. Right? In this uh, attitude, the functions of the attitude will be looked into in detail. What what are the functions of the attitude the by you know understanding how attitude is formed now we try to understand how this functionality can be achieved for example the first and foremost function the attitude gives is the utilitarian function what is mean by utilitarian function right the general will anyhow will study the utilitarian theory that is given by jeremy bentham then it is modified by js mill etc in the coming videos timing understand that utilitarian is a principle which gives the maximum benefit for the utility right an individual the theory says that an individual try to maximize their reward and minimize their punishment. This is a theory which goes between pain versus pleasure. Every human being in this world try to achieve the pleasure and reduce the pain. Now, this is a sense that you should understand everybody wants to maximize their profits. Everybody wants to maximize their profit. When this is the picture, now try to understand certain examples with respect to the utilitarian principle that is you now imbibed through the process of attitude. For example, consumer decision making. Whenever we go for a shopping, we definitely look for the quality of the material, right? We definitely look for the what is the price of the material, what is the if there any offer or not. So those things get into picture. This is the utilitarian principle. We evaluate the benefit and cost associated with the different products or services that we choose over the period of time. The consumer decision making making in itself is the utilitarian aspect for example somebody who is having an iphone somebody who is having an android phone you can assume that the android for person having the more utility than the person with iphone I'm, I'm not against any iphone users here but definitely you can understand with the same cost benefit analysis we'll get much more benefits in the android than in the uh, iphone right next comes the health behavior choices for example in the utilitarian principle definitely we'll go for you know when you do a uh, lot of uh, uh, exercises then you will automatically understand that uh, the good health benefits when it comes into picture you will think about you know quitting smoking etc right these things can be understood better in the uh, functional aspect of the attitude the next important is the career choices for example in the utilitarian aspects itself when you choose certain career definitely you look for the what are the job prospects that the career will give right what is the return that i'll give that is called return on investment return on education that i'm you know giving certain money for the investment in the education in return what i am getting is being studied in the utilitarian aspects right what is the salary what is the job what what is the growth opportunities in my career that i will get right those can be studied in the functional aspect of the utilitarian principle Next is the environmental conservation. Now people started conserving the environment thinking that the long term benefit of the environment, the, it will benefit the planet, it will benefit the future generations etc. Right. Now uh, the Gandhi's quote is very important here. Gandhi said that the environment has given for everything for the man's need but not for the man's greed. Right. You understand this point. Very very important. Next important aspect in utilitarian is that social relationship. When you have a social relationship, when you connect to the emotional to some a certain person, when you share the common interest definitely you are looking for the well-being mental health being psychological health being of the people right the next important is the knowledge function the attitude is over the period of giving the function of knowledge which means that this attitude gives certain knowledge about certain things happening in and around you let us take example of political beliefs right now when you have certain ideological inclining towards one political party definitely whatever that political party is going to do in terms of policy or in terms of governance you will support that governance policy initiative for example congress uh, party for example bjp party for example Aam Aadmi party these parties have different ideologies how to at the end of the day these parties 
parties are doing for the welfare of the people but the approach towards the welfare of the people is different right that is one identity that you will get through the knowledge function because you are imbibing the knowledge of this political parties ideologies into your attitudinal component of the understanding of the society right the next component is the cultural identity whenever the person whenever the individual think about their cultural pride right they start you know having that cultural identity and they start making that specific cultural groups and maintain a something called a sense of belonging when there is a sense of belonging obviously the trust in the society will increase when the trust in the society increases crime rate in the society will come down the next is the social issues for example the knowledge component includes what you have certain knowledge about how the society should behave but when the society behaves not in that direction but different for example there is a theft happening but there is a crime happening but there is a you no know, murder is happening there is you know rape is happening right when you see these things the gender inequality is happening by these things you will you know certainly understand the knowledge component of the attitude that you want the change now right you support for the social change you advocate for the social chain that need to be done the similar goes with the scientific beliefs also for example uh, there are black magic that is goes in the society right but when you scientifically believe you will discard this black black magic etc right now you will look for the scientific advanced principles you want the evidences for everything this creates what rationality this creates the rationality everybody in the society should think in a rational manner even this is given in our uh, fundamental duties right the next is the historical interpretation because the today the history is written in a very different different interpretive manner understanding the history is very important now historical context is very important you know uh, understanding the narratives interpretations are very important because history generally is written by the people who are won the war but we need to understand that is not the case now the history is turned out to be a different aspect we are looking into something called as subaltern history what is mean by subaltern history looking the history from how the people were living in the particular society for example uh, when you look at the traditional historical interpretation you will find that how ashok how ashoka is a good king uh, how ashoka made the so and so but what about the people whether the people were happy about the ashoka's rule whether there was a taxation is heavy that understanding of studying the historical context is a subaltern history right the next comes the important component that is ego defensive function for example you have attitude towards certain aspects of your life now you don't want to lose that aspects of your life then that component is called as ego defensive function for example uh, you have a diabetes suppose right but you still want to eat certain sweet but when somebody asks you why you are eating the sweet you still you have a diabetes then you will say that this small part of the uh, you know eating the sweet does not happen anything to the diabetes you will downplay certain aspects of your life for example you are a small smoker if somebody comes and says about the smoking is not good then you will downplay saying that no smoke uh, one or one or two cigarettes uh, a day is not uh, not uh, very much you know harmful to the health so this is what this is the uh, ego defense you don't want to change you want to keep that uh, uh, you know protect you want to protect your self esteem and sense of identity now next comes picture is the stereotyping and prejudice for example uh, when you will always uh, certain people in the society have certain prejudices or certain certain stereotype towards certain genders right uh, towards uh, let us say caste groups for example when you mention a lower caste uh, name then automatically people are assuming that they are working in a menial jobs etc right so these are the prejudices that is existing in the society that you know uh, creates over the period it depends over the period of time uh, through the component of attitude in the functions of the ego defensive mechanism and if you say that you know this has to be changed over the period of the, these people will not accept because this is where the ego defensive function kicks into for For example, you talk about human empowerment to the person who is in 70s or 80s now. They don't agree because that generation human empowerment was just a joke, right? Now. next is the for example uh, rationalization of the fail this ego defensive function uh, rational uh, it kicks in into the rationalization of the failure for example if you ask somebody why you have not uh, studied for the examination they don't agree that they did not study for the examination but rather they will say that you know oh, i did not had a sleep uh, in the over the night you know there was lot of dogs were barking in my area so i did not got the sleep so they will you know blame somebody else the, the projection of blame and the rational of the failure both are interlinked here their negative traits they won't accept rather they will project it to the others to accept their failure right and next the ego defensive function helps in justifying their inequality for example these people will say that the society is not meant for equality there is always inequality existed caste system should exist over a period of time they don't you know consider or empathy towards the people who are in empathetic situation or the uh, i would say the weaker sections of the society 
the next part is the they will support the caste based discrimination they will say that higher caste ha has they will justify the rationality of the higher caste and the lower caste this ego defensive function over the period of time leads to religious intolerance in the society this will leads to stereotyping and prejudices of certain religious group for example definitely you will get you you know this is in the news also gujarat rights right how the gujarat rights happen over the period of time this was the stereotype that was created against to both of the communities both the hindu communities as well as the muslim community and what is the result result is nothing but loss of life in the both the sides of the group next is the ego defensive function language chauvinism for example in the southern states like tamil nadu karnataka well they take the, so much pride in their language they will downplay or they will degrade the other language right other language which should not be done you can project your language is a good language but it should not cost at the uh, the other person's language right this is uh, you know actually hinders are one of the fundamental principles of the country that is fraternity the sense of brotherhood is lost when the language chauvinism etc you know gets into in a larger picture and next is gender bias they will certainly uh, you know hold uh, gender bias because ego defensive function will not accept the equality so they justify the unequal treatment of the other genders etc done the color is nothing but it's a kind of uh, you know uh, judging the people based upon the skin color if the people having the fair or a whitish skin color they are good people and the black skin people are not that much this this is still exist in india but not in large scale as like a caste system but certainly in the skin color uh, biasness is still is there for example in india we had uh, you know advertisement done by fair and lovely right a you know famous brand which done that the fairer skins will lead to better life achievement now over the period of time when this is there now this attitude is changing now they also changed the name from fair and lovely to glow and lovely you can understand the attitudinal value of ego defensive function how it is imbibed in the society and how we are getting functioned here the next is the value expressive function now you believe in certain things you want to express your value this helps in your attitude for example you will start in the political activism you believe that social injustice should go away then you will certainly advocate for the uh, social justice that should happen you will advocate for equality you will advocate for the policy changes in the society next if you believe in the environmental uh, conservation is more important then you will go for environmental advocacy you will promote sustainable development you will promote the awareness camping next you will promote in terms of what artistic expressions which includes music films literature it includes even movies as well that you want to try to communicate your point of view to the society next comes the ethical consumerism as i said in the, uh, in the starting of this video that the people look for the utilitarian aspects of you know uh, looking for you know consumer uh, uh, you know, behavior the same is the ethical consumerism where people you know go for ethical way of consuming right for example the especially in the western countries they will not accept the goods which are manufactured when the factory is involved in child labor right it's a kind of ethical consumerism only right this is where the ethical values comes into picture especially european countries have this kind of you know things right next is the social media activism you will not sit silent you will at least try to do you know posting in the social media including twitter facebook etc right you will create awareness this is how the attitudinal functional is aspect of the life and around the society is changing the once the perspective towards the society right uh, next comes the social adjustment function in case of social adjustment function based upon the society that you grew up based upon the uh, uh, values that you imbibed over the period of time you will change according to the modes of the society for example dress code compliance for example when you went for an any wedding or something you will wear the dress as as you want to suit uh, to the particular functions or not so this is what is called as dress code compliance next language use for example you might be using a different language or the uh, way you communicate to your mother and father in the house very different but when you go into the society uh, when you you know speak in front of the others then your language etiquettes will change the same as with the cultural etiquettes in case of cultural etiquette for example in the house uh, in the home we will be you know eating in our dining table or eating in the sofa etc but when you go into a restaurant you will be having a proper setup you will also started starts eating in the spoon or a knife etc right so these things you know breed you know uh, over the period of time this uh, social adjustment function where your attitude changes according to the your surroundings 
right next comes you know confirming to your peer pressure for example uh, you like certain movie right but your peer pressure or your friends are not liking that movie you also start saying that instead of arguing with them you also start saying that yes even i did not like the movie why because you don't want to left out of the group right next re respecting the authority what is respecting the authority for example an authoritative figure comes into picture and he uh, talks about certain values or certain things you will respect that particular <coughs> authority for example this happens in case of uh, uh, movie uh, you know stars or the political leaders when they give speeches etc they will uh, you know uh, you know give that kind of speeches the people or audience also have that kind of tendency in believing them next is certain in the cultural festivals during the cultural festivals uh, you also you know uh, dress as per the needs of the cultural festival for example eid christmas or diwali you will also change your attire as per the uh, suit to the societal values right and the next is the as some of the examples have given some is the uh, some of them are language adoption where you know different regions will have different languages when the people go for that uh, region they will also try to speak in their local language just to connect to the people right done now caste based practices now when you are uh, of this system when you living in a remote part of the village areas this social adjustment function made the people to adjust according to their caste rules this is as led to one of the degrading practice in india that is the caste panchayats right ka panchayat that is happening in the society uh, is because of the people try to uh, you know want to be in the social group right so they support the caste systems more this has led to what ka panchayat next is the religious observance what is the religious observance when you went to the temple when you go for cultural practices when you go you will also practice same religious observance without even questioning the authority why you are doing it right because you don't want to get left out of the particular group done and the next is the marriage custom for example if you are marriage if you are doing marriage definitely you will follow certain social attitudes customs uh, and uh, you know you will want to conform to the marriage ritual that has been performed without even questioning why you are performing this kind of rituals right next comes the gender roles what is the gender role the different uh, aspects of the gender will have a different aspects of gender role in the society generally we say that woman is confined to kitchen male is confined to out of the work but this is not the case now now the role of the gender is changing over the period of time right we are in a society where we are not discriminating the roles of job based upon gender rather it is a uh, you know gender uh, fluid job that is been there in the society right by this uh, slide we are coming end of this video in the next uh, video we will be taking up the other aspects of the chapter of attitude till then thank you take care